Good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a good Saturday. It's uh, Mike with BrainFizz Labs. About two weeks into 3D printer ownership. Uh, I've re resisted getting one for years because I just assumed they'd be finicky time vampires and uh, not half wrong. Um... Spent the last couple days learning how to print PTEG, lots of tests and calibrations, but I'm having a great time, even if I'm a little sleep deprived. Um, but it's been a learning experience. Um, installed Fusion 360. And I do have some modeling experience uh, with game engines and other things, AutoCAD and stuff like that. So it's not like I'm jumping in with no previous experience, but I've never used three, Fusion 360 before today. Um, didn't read any documentation, just jumped in really quick and started punching buttons and, and stuff. And the Amazon sent me a bottle of desiccant with no lid. Um, so I designed a cap for it in PETG -E and printed it. Uh, as you can see here, it's stuck to the plate. And you're going to find out exactly the same time I do uh, if it actually fits the threads on that bottle or not. And if it's airtight. So we're going to... Pull it off the plate. There we go. And it's got some trees in it. So we're going to knock the trees out really quick. So it has been fun learning how to 3D print. Um, always like learning how to use new tools. And I always say there's no such thing as money wasted on tools. So there we go looks good i mean it's nice the threads are good and uh petg is printing really nice on my machine now it, it wasn't it wasn't out the start and bamboo labs carbon machines are supposed to be fit you know print and forget yeah don't believe the hype um that is the easiest way to test if it's airtight and it is so let's crack open this vacuum bag it's been holding my desiccant Pull this out of here, and uh, my poor fingernails picking plastic off the board. So we will use my, my grippy. Oh, and of course, there's pellets stuck all to the bottom of this. It wouldn't be fun if it wasn't a mess. Um, I'm hungry, and these look like forbidden salmon row. Shouldn't eat those though. Mike, I think the scale's off. I think the scale's off a little bit. I think I think you got some numbers wrong. So while it's a very pretty print, scale's off just slightly. Oh no. I'll have to play with Fusion 360 some more and play with the 3D printer some more. Uh, the 3D printer does have its own channel. Uh, just search for BFBR Labs on YouTube. I'm just live streaming it. I'm uh, rigging it up with uh, AI uh, so that every time I pop a plate in, it just automatically generates a stream and spins it up. And there are cameras and all kinds of crap inside the printer. Uh, I think I'm going to get some sleep. <laughs> I've been off like two days playing with this thing. Uh, it's been fun, though. It's been fun. It's been a learning experience. Uh, if you got any 3D printing tips or tricks for me, I'm sure some of you are really good at this stuff. Uh, drop me a note. Um, oh. <laughs> Goodbye. Happy Saturday, everybody. Oh, brother. You'll have that on those big jobs.